sooner, everybody. My name's Harry James. Happy Friday night to you. It's about 10 o'clock here, local time. The, o the reason why we're doing this Iowa State preview now, hopefully, fingers crossed, I will be down in uh, the Women's College World Series all day tomorrow uh, for uh, three of the four games. I'm leaving after the uh, third game, which will hopefully be Oklahoma and Oregon. Um, come home after that one, and then if that happens, uh, the next day Oklahoma will have to play Washington not once but twice uh, to advance in that. So that's really going to take up a lot of my weekend. So we're doing this now. It's the preview for the Iowa State Cyclones and the oh well uh, Iowa State Cyclones in college football. An eight and five team last year, five and four in Big Twelve play. Coming up next, we'll preview the Iowa State Cyclones. show everybody my name is Harry James the Iowa State Cyclones from Ames eight and five last year five and four big 12 play uh, got off to a great start in the formation big 12 play uh, of course beat our Sooners beat TCU but what really derailed them from a six and three season to set up at a five and four season um, the Oklahoma State game last year. Uh, that was the first time, the weekend of the first time that we played TCU, who we'll play later. But in the end, they finished with a 5-4 and four conference record. Not bad for the boys from Iowa State. With eight wins, they did qualify for a win, a bowl game last year, where in Memphis, they got them. By a PAT, 21-20 uh, Memphis in the Liberty Bowl. The Fighting Cyclones swirled in and got the win there. Heading the Circling Clones, the Tornado and Cyclones. Heading the head chef down there, Matt Campbell. Uh, he, good old Matty Matt, pretty popular name now and all around the world, not just in America, everywhere. But one name that's not so widely used, uh, I guess Kyle is more used, I guess. Uh, that brings us to our passing leader for Iowa State, Kyle Kemp. Kemp last year, Sooner fans remember him, he torched. Oklahoma last year as far as the passer is concerned, but don't feel bad, Sooner fans, because at the end of the day, he passed last year for 1,787 yards to go with 15 touch touchdowns and just three interceptions for uh, the Cyclones. Now, keeping them at the eight-win minimum won't be easy. But they got a running game to really help them do that. Number 32, David Montgomery, who finished last year with 258 attempts on carries to finish 1,146 yards on the ground to match out with 11 touchdowns. Uh, number 25, Sheldon Crony, also had a pretty big, uh, all, was is the second leading rush from last year. With just 31 attempts, but did have 159 yards, but did have the touchdown, one touchdown last season. 
Now, to get to from where they were to where they are to only f uh, from really only three or four wins uh, the previous year to five wins this year, they had some help. Like Hakeem Butler, number 18 from receiver, who finished with 41 receptions last year to lead Iowa State, 697 yards in the air, and seven touchdowns. And the aforementioned David Montgomery not only is a leading rusher for the season for the Cyclones, but is the second returning leading receiver with 36 carry uh, receptions, 296 yards, and the double deuces. Ten touches. That's touchdowns in the end zone. Now you don't also you don't improve to a five five and four uh, conference record, not overall record, but conference record for the Cyclones without at least a little bit of defense for, uh, in this league. Uh, maybe not good defense, but you got to play at least some amount of defense, have a lick of life, and they do. 42, Marcel Spears is part of that life. 107 tackles last year, two forced fumbles. Zero fumbles recovered, but did have two more picks from his linebacker spot. Did number 42, Marcel Spears. Defensive back, number 10, Brian Peavy has also got to look out for it for Sooner fans. 88 total tackles. Did also have a forced fumble last year. Zero uh, fumbles recovered. And from his DB spot, of course, you're always going to get picks and picks and picks in this league. He had two INTs. Now about the head coach we were talking about before, Matty Ice, Matt Campbell in this situation. Uh, 2002 grad from Mount Union University. Uh, his coaching history uh, overall, 46-29. That is a 61.3% winning clip in college. Uh, that's at two universities, however. Uh, he was at Toledo in the night at Iowa State. Uh, Toledo, he was there from 2011 to 2015, and then 2016 to present, the last two years, he's been in Ames. Uh, his bowl record, 3-1. and one. That's about 60% if, if you average it out. Uh, third season in Ames. Uh, since 2000, when Stoops got here, they do have one divisional title uh, in 2004. They tied with Colorado, but Colorado ended up playing Oklahoma in the 04 title game, so they have not advanced to any title games uh, with that being said. All right, guys, the next weekend docket, I think we'll, we will have everything back on track as we will preview the Army Knights, Black Knights, I guess is what they're calling them now, the Independent League Army Knights, another 10-win season for the Knights. We'll dig deeper into that next week. Until then, guys, thanks for watching. Go Sooners! And uh, fingers crossed, guys, that we get uh, two wins tomorrow that I'm going to be at, two wins on Sunday. And a couple of wins next week, either Monday or Tuesday or uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, two wins in there. If they do all of that in the next set, in the next, uh, let's see, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, five days, Oklahoma will be the defending champs from 16, 17, and 18. But still, guys, back to back. It's not a bad look in Oklahoma. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the preview for Iowa State Cyclones. Again, next week, remember, we're doing the Army Knights. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And as always, guys, boomer sooner, everybody. Take care. I'm out of here. See ya.